Dr. James Naismith. Who is James Naismith? Uh, let's start with his early life. He was born in Almonte, Ontario, which is located in Canada, November 6th, 1861. He is the son of Scottish immigrants, John and Margaret. Um, in 1869, he was eight years old. He moved to Grand Calumet uh, for his father's work in the uh, sawmill. Um, in 1870, both his parents died of thigh Foid fever, and he moved in with his grandma, who unfortunately passed of old age. Uh, following that, he was orphaned at the age of nine, and then he moved in with his uncle Peter, who had a farm, earned, owned a farm, and uh, Naismith became adequate in farm labor. He, paid, he played uh, hide and seek and catch, and s several things on that farm. Um, starting now with education, uh, he attended McGill University of uh, Quebec. He played football, soccer, and participated in gymnastics at uh, McGill. Uh, in 1887, he graduated top of his class with a bachelor's in physical education. Um, then he decided to attend the pre-Presbyterian -pre College in Montreal. Uh, for as far as tuition goes for the pre-Presbyterian college, um, he taught physical education and was an athletics director at his former university, McGill. Um, there also, you know, while he was attending that college, there was a YMCA organization located in Montreal and he made frequent visits there um, and he became acquainted with the um, the secretary there and the secretary introduced him to the YMCA training school in Massachusetts. Um, he eventually enrolled at the uh, YMCA training school and he went there and he taught some courses and he participated in rugby. Uh, he was then, um, while he was at the training school, the superintendent and asked him and a bunch of other students to uh, come up with some new sports and uh, other various um, games that uh, people can participate in. Uh, Naismith himself was tasked with an indoor game that was fair for all players and it wasn't necessarily rough. Uh, later, later life, um, he went to Denver and he was leading the YMCA organization in Denver, and he participated in World War II in France. Contributions to recreation. So while he was at the YMCA training school, and the superintendent asked him to come up with an indoor sport that's fair and it's not very rough, he decided to um, invent this sport based on his childhood sport or game that he played on the his uncle's farm, Duck on a Rock. And that's what he modeled basketball after. Um, he, he analyzed different rules and different uh, sports and he came up and combined uh, what, you know, a good set of rules for basketball and how it should be played. Um, one of the the rules was that, um, like many sports, like he participated in rugby, lacrosse, uh, you take the ball and you're running and it's very dangerous. So he put in the play that you dribble this ball, which we now call a basketball. Um, he was then the first basketball coach of the University of Kansas. And uh, after that, the sport that he invented basketball was introduced into the Olympics. And I believe that was the 1836, or 1936 Olymp Berlin Games. Uh, and basketball was introduced for the first time. And then after that, uh, he was introduced into the Basketball Hall of Fame. And there's a monument there that represents Dr. James Naismith and his contributions to 
recreation, and basketball. And these are my sources.